I've set up a silicon diode here on the uh, on the breadboard next to an LED because I wanted to experiment with the uh, sensitivity to light of um, silicon devices. So I've got this on diode test at the moment. I'm just going to show that this is a working diode. So that's got 0.6 volts forward voltage and reverse voltage is zero. So that's so it's a working diode. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of diode it is. This one's been lying around in my component box really for some years now. Let's put that on voltage. So you can see here that with the LED switched on we've got point about 0.25 volts being generated by that uh, that diode now. So the, the multimeter is now in in voltage mode, so it's measuring the voltage across the diode. So with the light on we got 0.25 volts. If I interrupt the light beam you can see that it straight away drops right down. That's about 160 millivolts. So the, so the diode is being affected by the light here. Uh, in fact there's quite a lot of light coming from above here so if I block out the light here you can see that also has an effect. Well, let's switch off the LED. So that's reacting to the ambient light here. It's about, that's about 0.2 volts and if I cover that up you can see it goes right down to close to zero. So this diode being in a glass package it can obviously be affected more by light. I mean, often standard diodes are in a black uh, enclosure so that they won't be affected by light. So I'd also like to try an LED because an LED can also be affected by light. So um, let me change it around and we'll look at that. And once again we've got on the left hand side we've got the LED being powered by 5 volts from my power supply and on the right that's just the bare and similar type of LED um, a red LED just connected across to the multimeter here which is reading voltage so so the voltage generated in the LED on the right at the moment is about 200 millivolts and if I block the beam See that drops down to 20, about 20 millivolts. There we are. We can use an LED as a light sensor. So what I might do I think is actually put an op amp stage behind that to amplify the voltage and experiment with that a bit more. Um, so that will be a part two I think. Okay, thanks for watching.